Okay, so let's review the key concepts for structuring the environment to prevent misbehavior. Parents can help children manage their behavior with clear and consistent schedules, routines, rules, and directions. You can even intervene before behavior problems start to prevent misbehavior. And strategies that focus on helping children manage their feelings can help prevent misbehavior. Easing transitions. Changes to the daily schedule and changes from one activity to the next, or transitions as they're often called, can be hard for children. You can make transitions easier by giving your child a heads up about what they can expect to happen next. So Elias, when we get outside, there's going to be a lot of busy cars and a lot of people. And time warnings before changes. For example, you may pick up your child from school and tell them, first we're going to go to the grocery store on our way home, and then we're going to go home and cook dinner. You can also tell your child in advance. Okay, so we're going to the store, okay? Mm -hmm. When you know there will be a change in the regular routine or schedule. You can also give specific time warning that a transition or a change is coming soon. For example, if your child is playing and it's going to be bedtime soon, you might say, Elias, five more minutes and then we have to clean up for bedtime. If sharing is hard, you can give your child a five minute warning before their turn is up. Right now, your turn is with this side and Zia's turn is with this side. You have five more minutes with the toy and then it's your brother's turn. A second reminder as the change approaches is often helpful as well. You have one more minute, and then it's your brother's turn. Planning ahead. You also want to think about specific activities or times of day that are harder for your child. For example, if you're going to the doctor and there may be a long wait, you can bring a small toy or activity for them to do. Should we play trains or read a story? And a snack. All right. Or if your child has trouble keeping his hands in the cart at the store, you might give them an easy task, like help me find the bananas or count three apples for me. Giving your young child a job to do when there are errands or chores, like making dinner or doing laundry, makes them feel involved in the activity with you and keeps them focused on positive activities. You can use positive attention, communication skills, redirection, and other strategies we've learned here as well. Redirection is a great strategy to try and help your young child cope with difficult emotions and to prevent behavior problems. The more you can help your child this way, the more they will learn these important regulation skills themselves. It's easier to redirect and change a child's behavior before it becomes a problem than to stop a problem behavior. Rather than telling your child no, tell them what you want them to do instead or give them an alternative action they could try. Consider this example. If you see your child is reaching to throw hard blocks, you might hand them something that is okay to throw, like a ball, and say, here, throw a ball. Balls are for throwing, and blocks are for stacking. You can also direct your child to use their words and model how to ask for help or a toy if your child seems to be getting frustrated or wants to grab something. Okay, take a deep breath. Let's talk to Zia about it, okay? Redirection can help your child tolerate difficult feelings, especially in times of change or transition, like cleaning up toys, or leaving a fun activity or place. You can help your child manage feelings of disappointment or frustration by giving them a heads up that a change is coming and reminding them of what's coming after. For example, if the child is playing and it's going to be time for bed soon, you might say, okay, you have five more minutes until it will be time to clean up so we can read our story for bed. When the change comes, and they start to have a difficult time, you can help redirect their attention and feelings to what they can look forward to next. What story do you think you're gonna pick for bedtime tonight? By redirecting their attention to details of the next activity, you can help your child more easily transition from one activity to the next. Providing choices. A last strategy for preventing misbehavior is providing choices whenever possible. Children want to make some choices themselves. An important developmental process for young children involves developing a sense of independence and autonomy. This can often lead to them wanting to do things all on their own and asserting their opinions, often by saying, no. Parents can help support this development and reduce conflict by letting their child have choices when possible. Here are your plate color choices. What do you think? 
A few things to keep in mind about choices. It's good to limit the number of possible choices to a few that are okay with you. For example, you can say, do you want to wear the blue shirt or the striped shirt today? Directions and choices can be combined to let the child feel in charge of something. Do you want to wear your black shoes or your pink shoes? Please put your shoes on. Even if the child always chooses the same thing every time, just asking can help the child feel like they have some control. Using these strategies can make a big difference for families with young children. It is much easier and more pleasant to prevent problem behaviors than to manage them once they come. And with every time you can help your child through difficult feelings and situations, the more they will develop the ability to do this for themselves.